The first anime we have is Kokoro Connect. If you're looking for something that's not your average overused rom-com storyline, then look no further. A group of five students make a club called the Culture Society for the men of culture. And the women, of course. One day, Aoki and Yui experience an incident where their bodies swap places for a short period of time. But this phenomenon occurs more than once between the five students and they realize that it is not fun and games as they discover each person's secrets and hidden scars which could lead to tearing their friendship apart. The anime is emotional, comedic, and dramatic and achieves each of these quite well which makes it, in my opinion, one of the great rom-coms out there. <laughs> Next, we have Arakawa Under the Bridge. This anime is a little different from the rest, as you'll see. We have a guy called Kao who's from a wealthy family and has never owed anyone a debt his entire life. But then one day, his life is saved by a homeless girl under a bridge. But what does he owe her now? Money? Nope, she wants him to be her boyfriend and wants him to live with her under the bridge. Weird, I know. What this show does best is to add themes such as acceptance, regret, and being yourself while still being things comedic. An absurd situation would occur and the main character would learn something new about himself whilst the girl slowly finds out what it means to love someone. Third, we have Boarding School Juliet. On the topic of absurd anime, this one hits the park. So there's this prestigious school, as always, and it's separated between two factions, black dogs and white cats. These two groups are a part of the same school, but each competes to rise to the top and best each other. Persia, the female protagonist, and Inuzka, being the male protagonist, are both leaders of their respective dorms. Both have typical superhuman anime strength. Even though they are rivals, they secretly in love with each other. So it's like a Romeo and Juliet kind of situation. It's your typical rom-com storyline that has been overused, but it's still enjoyable as we watch the two characters get into problematic, comedic, and romantic situations together. <laughs> Fourth, we got It's Difficult to Love an Otaku, an adult rom-com anime that deviates from your typical high school cliche storyline. Good story progression and not to mention the absolutely iconic opening that you could play over and over again. Now, this is a certified hood classic. Growing up from a kid to adulthood, I'm sure all of us have our own favorite hobbies, interests, or dirty little secrets. And that's exactly what Narumi has as she begins work in a new company, hoping this time no one discovers her. But a game crazed otaku she hasn't met since middle school also works in the same company so they go out for drinks and unexpectedly, two of them have become a couple as they walk out of the bar. We also have two co-workers who are also in a relationship which comes to a surprise to us since their interactions are pretty aggressive which actually, quite frankly, makes it more entertaining. Engage to the unidentified. If you've ever seen that brown-haired little girl with an oversized shirt doing a cute little dance in front of a TV, then this is it. The anime is more on this slice-of-life chill side if that's what some of you are looking for. An ordinary teen named Kobeni is told on her 16th birthday that she is engaged to a guy that's the same age as her and so the guy moves into her home along with his little sister who is the dancing meme girl. His name is Hakuya and he has some mysterious ability and a past he seems to be a pretty chill guy. And they deepen their relationship with the new family members as Kobeni tries her best to adjust to the sudden changes that's forced upon her by her grandfather. <laughs> 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 huh? 
I score girl. If you like anime, you most definitely like games, so here's one for us all. The only thing Haru has to live for is video games. Not popular in school, not handsome, not funny, not nice and not exactly friendly, quite relatable. One day at a local arcade, a pretty rich and smart girl wipes the floor with his ass in Street Fighter 2. Not once, but he loses a whopping 30 times against this mysterious gamer girl. But Weirdly, she starts following him around from arcade to arcade every day without saying a word to him and destroys him at every game. The odd couple begin a strange but fond relationship. Fuka. Personally, I think this anime is pretty underrated. It's basically a musical rom-com. Sort of. So, a guy overly obsessed with Twitter called Yu Haruno lives with his three sisters and he tweets non-stop whilst tweeting he bumps into a girl who misunderstands him by thinking he's taking pictures of her panties. She straight up breaks his phone and slaps him across the face before leaving him. Absolutely ruthless. They both end up going to the same school. Big surprise, I know. It turns out the girl with no chill is called Fuka and she doesn't own a cell phone and only listens to music and on a CD player at that. After making up, they form a band and look to fame. Cool. <laughs> Kagaguya-sama Love is War an anime that is loved by many and one of my personal favorites. It includes everything you need and more in a rom-com anime and tops it off with clean animation. So basically, we have a dirt poor guy called Miyuki who is the student president of a prestigious high school and alongside him is the vice president Kaguya Shinomiya who comes from a really wealthy family. After spending so much time together, they develop feelings for each other. but. Neither wishes to confess because it's a sign of weakness. And so they play this really entertaining mind games on each other in order to make the other confess. Among the student council, we have Fujiwara, who is cute and airheaded. She's basically the meme girl that you probably saw doing that dance. We also have Ishigami, who is personally my favorite character due to his interesting backstory and his personality is something a lot of us can relate to. Hori <laughs> <laughs> Mia. This anime is quite recent and brings with it stunning animation. It's about Hori and Miyamura, who are both complete opposites in the social hierarchy in their school. Even though Hori is a popular girl in school due to her personality and looks she can always make excuses to her friends to get home early just so she can take care of her little brother and do housework. And on the other hand, Miyamura is a seemingly lonely and depressed otaku, but apparently he is far from that. He has tattoos, piercings, and doesn't even wear glasses and he looks sexy as hell when he is not in school. Sadly, not someone a lot of us can relate to. They both meet through Hori's little brother and discover each other's secrets and start spending time together at Hori's house and eventually become a couple. Oh. Fruits Basket. Here we have a fan favorite shouju anime. Tohuro Honda is the female protagonist of the show and her life is in absolute shambles after a family tragedy. So she moves out into a tent? But her tent is on private property belonging to a mysterious Soma clan who then take her in after discovering her and she is exactly what they needed. Inspired by her late mother, Tohuro is driven to be compassionate with a way of words. The real story unfolds as Toru finds out the Soma Zodiac secret, which is basically where the Somas will turn into a Chinese Zodiac animal when hugged by someone of the opposite sex. Fruits Basket is about many things. However, and probably just as important as being burdens, is about how to live and move on from them. This is mainly presented through the character Honda Toru, 